and we're back to learning JavaScript using FreeCodeCamp. We're right here. We have our certification, our portfolio projects. The palindrome checker is the first one. So we want to check an STR and our example I. And if we inverse it, is it the same as the STR? For example, I would be true, but I's would be false. A palindrome is defined right here. We ignore punctuation, case, and spacing. And the note says we need to remove the all non alphanumerical characters. And we need to find a way to check for low and uppercase so it doesn't really matter. You can see that here for race car, which is always a palindrome, no matter if the R, C, whatever letter is upper or lowercase. And here we've got these non alphanumerical characters, we need to remove them. My solution goes like this. We'll start with our str. And we'll apply a replace method to it. And maybe I print that out directly so that you can see what everything does step by step. So I use console.log str. For now it's just an i. And if I add i's, we've got i's printed out. Let me, for example, add all of these on alphanumerical characters. And for now they are all printed out. And now I want to replace them. So I use these rejigs. And the one that you need is this uppercase w. And don't forget to add the G for a global flag, and we need to replace it with nothing. So just add comma and then these quotation marks. If you don't add the G, we will get rid of the first one. All the other ones will be in there, so we need the global flag. And now they're all gone. There's another case. Let me check right here the underscore which is not covered by the W. You can see that if I add it, it's printed out, so we'll need to add that here, just like so. And the G takes care of all of them, not just one. So we should be fine with the first task, sort of removing of these characters. Now we need to check upper and lowercase. If I add an uppercase E, it's printed out, so let me add two lowercase right here. And now it doesn't matter anymore. Next step is to define the reverse and create it. So I'll just make it let reverse str. I'll print that out as well. For now it's obviously undefined, so I haven't given it any values. But we use the str that we have in code line 2. So if I add, for example, i1 or i's again, whatever, you can see this is now the same. And I want to reverse that. So I'll add str.reverse. But the reverse method doesn't work directly on such a string. At first, we need to create an array. So I use the split method before it. And you can now see we've got an array. And we'll split it for every letter. So just add quotation marks. If we get rid of reverse, you can see our i's are now in an array. Each letter is an individual element. Now I add reverse, which makes the s letter the first one. And afterwards, we need to join it again. And we need to join it without white space or anything, so just add the quotation marks. And now we have reversed it, so this is what we need. Finally, we need to compare our string to our reverse string. So if, and then the condition is str is equal to reverse str, we want to return true, because it's a palindrome then. And else, it's going to be false. 
So let me add else right here. And let me also print this out by adding console.log to our palindrome in line 15. And you can see for now we've got false because I've got i's instead of i. But if I get rid of the s, we've got true. And this is how you can solve the palindrome checker on FreeCodeCamp. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.